Lecture 3.2, Differentiability. We have four vacation slides today of Arches National Park in the state of Utah. This first scene is an area called Park Avenue because it reminded people of the tall buildings on Park Avenue in New York. This slide is called North Window Arch. Notice the uh, people in this picture to give you a sense of scale. Our next picture is called Balanced Rock. And finally, the famous Delicate Arch. To be differentiable, a function must be continuous and smooth. Derivatives will fail to exist at a corner, such as this graph of f of x equal the absolute value of x. At a cusp, as in this graph of f of x equals x to the 2 thirds, At a vertical tangent, as in this graph of the cube root of x, at a discontinuity, such as this piecewise graph of f of x equals negative 1, where x is less than 0, and 1, where x is greater than or equal to 0. Most of the functions we study in calculus will be differentiable. Derivatives on the TI-89. You must be able to calculate derivatives with the calculator and without. Today you will be using your calculator, but be sure to do them by hand when called for. Remember that over half the AP exam is no calculator. Example, y equals x cubed. Find dy dx at x equals 2. We enter d parentheses x to the third comma x, and the calculator returns 3x squared. This is the derivative symbol, which is second 8. It is not a lowercase d. Now use the up arrow key to highlight 3x squared and press Enter. That makes another copy. And then we add the vertical bar and x equals 2. Press Enter and the calculator returns 12. Or we can enter the expression this way and do it in one step. The derivative of x cubed with respect to x such that x equals 2 and press enter. Warning, the calculator may return an incorrect value if you evaluate a derivative at a point where the function is not differentiable. For example, the derivative of 1 over x with respect to x at x equals 0 returns negative infinity. The derivative of the absolute value of x with respect to x such that x equals 0 returns plus or minus 1. In actuality, in neither of these cases is the derivative defined. Graphing derivatives. Graph y equals the derivative of ln x with respect to x. What does the graph look like?
we should recognize this. It looks like y equals 1 over x. You should calculate it to evaluate the derivative of ln x with respect to x. And the calculator returns 1 over x. The derivative of ln x is only defined for x greater than 0, even though the calculator graphs negative values of x. There is actually no derivative for x less than or equal to 0. What the calculator does is first find a formula for the derivative and then graph that. Two theorems. If f has a derivative at x equals a, then f is continuous at x equals a. Since a function must be continuous to have a derivative, if it has a derivative, then it is continuous. The intermediate value theorem for derivatives. If a and b are any two points in an interval of which f is differentiable, then f prime takes on every value between f prime a and f prime b. In this example, f prime a equals 1 half, that's the slope at point a. f prime b equals 3, which is the slope at b. Between a and b, f prime must take on every value between 1 half and 3. As the slope gradually increases, it must take on every slope between 1 half and 3.